Hi y'all, this is Coleman Alders from YourGardensAll.com. We're out here in our garden and we're going to talk today about how to grow longevity spinach. This will be an add-on, uh, sort of a video uh, add-on to our article on the topic of growing longevity spinach. Now, this is also called Gynura procumbens. Its origin is over in Asia where it's been grown for years and it's respected both as a nutritional source and also medicinal. And in our article on growing longevity spinach, we have a lot of information. A good bit of it is backed up by actual scientific studies by the National Institute of Health on the benefits. And they're wide ranging, everything from diabetes to heart to uh, relaxation to high blood pressure, all that. It's amazing what this plant can do. Now we're here, this started off, believe it or not, just two years ago as two plants and we propagated them. They grew into these wonderful other plants and we took clippings. And one of the reasons why it's called longevity spinach, it's a tropical plant and it can't take much cold but it's very easy to propagate. Um, all these that you see down through here are from clippings that we clipped off and either grew in water and the roots just came out like crazy or in some sort of soil medium, uh, usually potting soil. And we carried these through all the winter, brought them out here and they have just flourished. It's amazing. Now one of the reasons why we think our longevity spinach has flourished is we've added this fabric, the shade cloth. When we first got our plants and set them out in the sun, they didn't seem to like it very much. They were sort of blanching out and looked like they were actually getting a little sunburn. So we took to putting this cover over and it's been really great. It's, um, it's done a wonderful job and as you can see, I mean to go from a six inch cutting to this it's actually a vine right so we're gonna be coming in here and uh, <clears throat> I'll just be taking larger branches and then we'll come along and we'll clip the leaves and uh, take the leaves dry them out and in some cases make tea it's a delicious tea it, if you add a little bit of, of uh, sweetener like say maple syrup a little dab of that in the tea it really is very lovely and refreshing um, and we'll also be making some powder to add to some of our uh, meals as well as some of our smoothies that we make up in the blender now and then. Um, I could sing its praises all day but I'd like you all just to go up and read the article on growing longevity spinach and then let us know if you have any other follow-up questions. But right now we're going to start clipping all the way back to right about here. Oh, and look, these things, this is another reason they've gone to rooting in the medium. This is just loose soil down below. So they've done a great job of, um, of setting roots down in there, which is probably how they've really grown outside of these pots. Now the leaf you can take, they say you take a leaf a day and it's sort of like an apple, they bless you. It's sort of like an apple a day. Would you like one of these? It might help. Uh, and um, it, it, it promotes longevity in, in the person that's taking it. And it has all kinds of healthful, healthful benefits. So I would suggest you also go up and look at the chart that we have up there that sort of details all the different benefits you can derive from consuming this simple tropical plant that has come to us from Asia. Well, that's, uh, that's it for our little segment on this. And uh, if you are growing any sort of herb-like longevity spinach, we'd love to hear from you. Let me make a quick distinction. This is not the Okinawan spinach. There's some that say, you know, they get it confused. This is Gynura procumbens longevity spinach. And uh, we think it's great. We like it in salads. We like it in our smoothies. And uh, it's a little bit hard to get over the taste just chewing it. But, it's you know. It's great blended with stuff. Yeah, like, like most medicines, it takes a little bit of getting used to. 
So that's it for uh, our little presentation here. We hope uh, we'll uh, catch up with you all once we get everything dried up and uh, in little baggies for making the tea and uh, going through the process of making powder out of this. But right now it's harvest day and uh, we got to get busy. So thanks for visiting. This is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. So long.